So just in this small area here, not including these grasses, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's not including the grasses. So there's ten, oh, sorry, eleven, yarrow. So that's just 11 of the herbal species, two, three of which are, um, four of which are legumes. That's one clover, that's another clover, this is another um, legume, then there's the white clover here. So those are just a few of the different species in a multi-species sward. The lambs have been grazing on here and I've just taken them off and put them into another field and the swallows are all flying across the field very low because the insect life that are flying up and about. So a very good diverse sward. Oh here's another species here. There's another one. I could keep going, but that's just a few, and that's not including the grasses. I mean, in the grasses, there's there's one, two, three. That's three that are here. Four. There's another one. Four. And another one. Five. So that's 15 species just in this small area. And I'm sure there's more that I'm missing that I just haven't picked up on that are right here. So that's what a diverse sward wants to look like, as many different kind of species all together. So this has been grazed by the lambs. You can see the white clovers all coming up. And amongst those white clovers, there's actually like three or four different species. Oh, and of course, there's a thistle. So... It's a good diverse variety of um, grasses and herbs that are in here. And it's turning into a beautiful evening.